Well, as you can probably see here from this key fob that goes to my uh, 2016 Hyundai Santa Fe, uh, Santa Fe Sport, that the, uh, the rubber piece on the front of this has come apart. And now, oh, this button's about to come out. This one's gone, and so you can't really push that button in the middle unless you have something like, you know, an ink pen in your purse or in your, in your pocket. Uh, and it's just basically falling apart. So, you know, to replace these fobs are very expensive. So I, you know, being a DIYer, thought, well, let me try something different. So I ordered a couple things from Amazon that I've tried. I'd seen other people try it, so I thought I would. Uh, first off, I ordered a, an actual fob assembly. So this one, let's see, I ordered these from Amazon, uh, but this is from Remote Overstock, and that's the one I got. Again, 2016 Hyundai Santa Fe. Uh, if you look this up online, it actually will tell you that it works with uh, other vehicles as well. Kias, of course. Uh, it's kind of funny because it gives you a place on the back to put the little Hyundai logo on there. Snap it in. Uh, a little screw there. Uh, this is obviously not the key. What you have to do with these is you have to take this apart, take apart your old key, and in the old fob you have to take out the... Uh, the chip that's in here that makes it work with your car, restricts it to your car. And you take it out, you put it into the new one. Uh, you also have to take the little um, card, or the little, uh, yeah, the little system board out of there. And uh, be very careful not to break it. And you also be very careful not to lose that little chip. It's a tiny little thing. And you basically... Um, Take all the old stuff out of this and put it in here. You can also take this key out of here and it's spring, or you can reuse the spring that comes in the new one and just swap it over to that. So then you're basically using a whole new fob assembly uh, with all your old parts in it. That's a lot of work. I uh, watched a lot of videos and a lot of people struggling to get that done. So the other thing that I did is I actually bought just the rubber piece from Remote Overstock, also via Amazon. Um, there's the, uh, the number for it. Got this also on Amazon. And this, let me get it out of the little package here, is just the little rubber bit that goes on the front. There's your little rubber buttons on the back. So all you have to do is basically peel this rubber piece off. Uh, and then there's a little plastic retainer down in there that's a little bit of a pain to get out, but it pops out. This little silver ring on this particular fob that goes around the outside here actually is more than just decorative. It actually helps to hold this rubber piece into the assembly because uh, this just wraps around that plastic retain uh, yeah, retainer and then uh, snaps down in there. And that little ring actually holds the rubber piece in place and uh, helps it to stay secure down in there. I actually have already done this on the second fob that we have for that car. And so you can see that I was able to get it replaced, get that silver ring back in there. Um, so this is the old fob that came with the vehicle, um, you know, complete with the uh, spring key, but with a new rubber piece on it. This is the way that I'm going to go with this one, too. I'm going to go ahead and install uh, this second one that came in the pack. I, I bought a two-pack. The only thing that is problematic with this is that I've done the, taken this apart three or four times and put it back together. If, you, if you're careful, I'm sure you can get this to where it'll be flush, like, like this. Um, what I'm worried about is, is that, you know, if this goes down in my wife's purse or something like that, that that's going to catch on something and then that rubber front peels off. So I've had this off of there probably, I don't know, three or four times and back on and just trying to keep that wrapped around the little plastic retainer. Uh, it's possible, I suppose, you could glue it on there, but in the event that you'd want to, you know, have to do it again, 
uh, that might be problematic. So I'm just trying to, to do it without glue, uh, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. But all these buttons now work, and so we can go from there. So what we have to do, first of all, is you got to peel. I just use my pocket knife. You got to get a hold of this rubber piece. And you got to peel this thing out of here. It's a kind of a challenge to do, surprisingly enough. But once you get it started, it actually goes pretty well. Just be careful not to cut yourself or let this knife slip on that rubber and come towards your hand and you know, cut your hand. But you can eventually grab a hold of it and get around that end and it just kind of pulls out. If it breaks, which it will, because this rubber is very worn and and use just you know take the knife and get around the other side and keep peeling now once you get all this out of here I may have to I may have to turn the camera off to get this done there it goes very slow Oops. see how it just tears so it's actually sticking to this plastic retainer pretty well so it's a bit of a challenge to get it out of there but once you get it out you're going to have to make sure you clean all the dirt and the grime and the dead skin cells sorry to gross you out but you gotta get all that stuff out of there and like this residue of rubber you gotta scrape off and get all that out so I'm gonna do that. Let me get this little silver ring out of here. Uh, I'm gonna do that and I'll come back, but uh, when, when I get back, I'll show you that this plastic piece that looks this kind of D-shaped thing with the four holes in it, this is the retainer that has to pop out. There's a plastic tab on the bottom of this. Here, 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 and here. And those go into holes in the, the fob assembly. And uh, they're, you know, <laughs> it's a bit of a pain. Once you get it out of there, you kind of have to scrape, or if you look up the instructions on this website, uh, remoteoverstock.com slash kia-red in my case, it actually shows them taking a little tiny file and filing a little bit of those uh, plastic things off. Uh, I'm just going to use my knife basically to, to scrape some of that. Um, and I also found that if you snap it in and out a few times, which is dangerous because you can break that thing and you don't want to do that because then it's basically shot, um, but it will begin going in and out of the holes a little bit easier. So, All right, so I'm going to clean this up a little bit more and then I'll come back and we'll pop this piece out. Okay, uh, I've got this cleaned up. So basically, I just kind of used my knife and I scraped any rubber residue off of there. I kind of used it to get around the edge here, uh, like so. Blow it out a few times and uh, try to get that as clean as we can. By the way, I'm sorry about the the lighting and trying to not have a shadow, but uh, okay. So now what again I need to do is pop this little piece out of here and there's a little plastic a peg on the bottom of e on the bottom of this piece on each of these spots. And so what I did before with my knife and I may have to get my knife again instead of the little screwdriver just get under this little piece right here right where that little thing has got to be and just sort of pry gently. I don't want to break this thing. You certainly don't want to break the fob. I'll try the middle one here. Actually, I'm going to go to the knife. So it gets me a little bit more uh, surface area under that. And I just sort of work it gently. There's one. Move a little bit. There's another one. So actually, I think the knife works better. Okay, let me move to this side. Whoops. Oops. Last thing you want to hear someone say when you're working on this is oops. 
but come on. Words of Eric. Oh, come on, baby. There's one. a little bit of rubber residue around the edge of that I'll have to clean off there's one all right now we're talking come on last one come on this is the one got it and of course it went flying down but there's the fob now without that little piece in it here's the little piece and here are the little pegs I was talking about if you can see these or not yeah you can kind of see that one there one there one there one there one there and one there you'll also notice and maybe you can't see it very well in this uh, video camera yeah there you go if I hold this just right you can kind of see how there's like a little lip on each of those that's what has to be sort of scraped off and it seems like if you do that, you're going to lose its ability to to click in. Look at this little piece of rubber stuck there. So I'm going to clean this up a little bit more, just to make sure that's entirely clean. Uh, but anyways, what I found on the other one was, if I just take the, a little bit of that off with my knife, just kind of scrape that a little bit on each one of these, it does make it a little bit easier to pop back into these holes. Now. That said, it was still quite a pain in the uh, derriere to uh, to get that thing back in there. But that's the point. That's the, the way it works. So now, before I pop it in there, I am going to have to clean this some more. It looks like there's more stuff on there. But you basically take this little rubber piece. It goes with the shape there. But it has to kind of go inside. Or this little rubber piece has to kind of go wrap around the edge of that. Just ever so a little bit there, just a little tiny bit. All right, so now it's kind of inside that. And then what you do is you take your little silver ring here, which as you can see here is going to help, I think is intended to help hold that rubber in place. But you got to be careful because look, I just did it. I just push that clear through. So that's where it gets to be kind of tricky. I think last time what I ended up doing was putting that like that. And then this is the hard part. And I may have to scrape some off those little plastic tabs to get these to go in those holes, but you basically just press it back together. There's one. Uh, yeah, see, otherwise it's just like, won't go. So I'm going to have to probably scrape that a little bit. I got one to go. Yeah, I'm going to need to do a little more work on that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this back out. And I'm going to pop this silver thing out. I'm going to go ahead and pop this back out. And I'm going to take just a minute off camera to kind of scrape down these little flattened off bits and edges on these and see if I can get it to where it'll pop back into those holes easier. Alright, I have spent uh, a little time cleaning this up even more. I found a lot more, actually not a lot, but you know, enough kind of rubber stuck along here that I scraped out with my knife. Sorry if it's blurry there probably. Um, I also came through here and cleaned this out quite a bit. I took actually a tissue uh, and I used my little screwdriver and I just used it to, with the tissue in order to sort of wipe that down. And I got, uh, sorry about this, but a pretty fair amount of gunk out of there. So that's pretty gross, but there it is. So uh, no guarantees this will go in easily now, but I'm going to... Uh, Go ahead and put this rubber piece back on now that little yeah yeah 
okay. And, uh... Let's see if I can get this to snap in. Again, where I had trouble on the other one, it's right along this kind of top edge here. You can see that's sticking up a little bit. I'd really like for this to be flush, but, uh... Yeah, we'll see. There's one. Whoop, I think it just popped back out. One, two, two. Oh man, three, four, five. Actually, I got them all. That's six. Hot dog, look at this. Okay, so here on this one, it's kind of down in this corner, it's sticking up a little bit. But, I'm afraid that's about as good as it's going to get. Let's see if we can tuck that in a little bit there. Yeah, that's pretty good though. So, we'll give it a try. It'll be interesting to see how long it lasts, and we'll go from there. Hope this was helpful.